I am in full day starving. Hold for applause, pause for applause. Before the video starts, let's take a moment to commemorate my beautiful rhinestone corset. Thank Grant, it's Friday, honey. I am going to begin using my natural brows and looks. I feel like it gives a more androgynous queen approach, and I feel like it gives a more youthful approach as well because models such as Cara Delevingne have very thick, luscious eyebrows, so I'm just gonna embrace the caterpillar realness. If I sound a bit short of breath, it's because this corset is pulling all of my organs and my rib cage around. It's great. Just vomited in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Drag is a struggle. Oh, it's so hot and sweaty up in here. It's so hot and sweaty up in here. Oh! This week's topic on teen queens was drag tips and tricks for all you other teen queens and aspiring drag queens out there. And even a biological woman. Because some of these tips, especially the makeup products and makeup tips, the scarf is flanning around like Kennedy Davenport. So we're also going to include some makeup products. I included two high-end brands and two low-end brands. Uh, so for all you biological women, that might come in handy as well. But let's start with the drag tips. Tip number one is to always, 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 always have a conceptual vision for your look. If you don't, the look does not succeed in my mind. I am the type of drag queen, uh, the grand drag queen, that uh, envision... Hello. I'm filming a video right now. Not today, Satan. So my first tip is to always, 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 have a conceptual idea for your look because I'm the type of drag queen that likes to have a different look every single time I'm in drag. So I never want to wear the same look twice. I never want to wear the same look twice. It's kind of a club kid uh, mantra, I guess. But in the 90s, club kids uh, were famous for not ever wearing the same look twice. Uh, some of them, at least. So I might sometimes have to wear the same wigs twice because I'm a teen drag queen and money's a little tight right now. <laughs> kind of like the picture that was inspired for this look. It, as you can see, it's really beautiful. But um, yeah, so I always draw out a picture for uh, the drag look that I'm going to do, so that way I kind of have an idea of what I want the makeup design to look like. My second tip is to always, 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 always be extremely, extremely prepared for your drag because uh, drag for me, the full-on transformation, filming the video, taking HD pictures, I normally do it at night. Right now it's the day, it's Memorial Day. <laughs> God bless. Um, you want to be as prepared as possible. I like to put on my towel in my bathroom, all of my clothes, have all my stuff to wash my face, have all my makeup laid out, have clean brushes. I'm a bit of a clean freak. I'm not really. I just spilled red pigment on my carpet. But um, have your lighting ready, have your background ready. Just be as prepared as possible because if not, not only does it make you look a little unprofessional, especially if you have a gig, but you're also going to feel better. Uh, you won't get as frustrated because drag is frustrating. It's hot as heck. I had a few hairs in my mouth. I'm hot cat. Uh, tip number three, my final tip is... Meow meow. Tip number three, my final tip is to have passion. In order to succeed in what you want to do in the world, you need to have passion. Because passion is what drives creativity. Okay. So, moving on to the makeup. My first high-end product that I'm going to talk about is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I just convinced Elaine to buy it, and she actually did her blue, uh, kind of Shiva Avatar-ish look with it this week, and wasn't it insane? It's like, freaking incredible. She's, she's Jesus. She's toilet Jesus. She's beautiful. But anyway, the Makeup Forever Flash Palette is absolutely amazing. It is $100, so it is very much on the pricey side. But these are the highest quality grease paints you will ever buy. Uh, can't compare to Halloween stores at all. This is Makeup Forever Paris. 
and these blend together like melted butter. They're absolutely amazing. They just really blend into the skin. They come off really easily. They're waterproof. Um, you can use them as lipsticks, eyeshadow bases to correct foundation. Um, you can use them as cheek uh, color. You Second product that I'm going to talk about are, as I'm sure you all have heard, OCC Lip Tarting. So each of these are $18, which is on the pricey side, uh, but not really for high-end makeup. But um, really, the only ones that you'll really need uh, are the colors Traffic, RX, Not Safe for Work, which is the red, but that's on my makeup table over there, and then the black and white, which is Feathered and Tarred. Super, super insanely pigmented, vegan, which is a plus. Uh, they're really minty and fresh. I'm wearing uh, Not Safe for Work right now on my lips. And they uh, are great. You just need a teeny tiny little bead and it covers your whole mouth. And I've had these for over uh, four years now. They probably have an expiration date, but <laughs> I'm a teen queen. Money's tight, as we know. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to talk to you about on the lower end scale are the ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock uh, Shadow Pigments. I believe that's what they're called. But these are only five bucks, which is absolutely amazing. They kind of have the texture of like a mousse and a shadow blended together, but they do dry as a powder. <coughs> the corset's pushing all my mucus up. Oh my god. This might be my favorite product of all time. Elmer's glue sticks. I was sick in bed one day and my mother went to Target and brought me back Elmer's glue sticks. I was ready to twerk for Jesus. These are beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. I'll clean those up later. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching my video this week. I really appreciate it. And please come back next week. Now is the portion where I'm going to insert a few HD pictures and tell you my conceptual idea for this look. Grant created a geisha sushi Japanese drag queen. Come on, fake flowers in the hair. Come on, rhinestone corset. Come on, this took three and a half hours. Come on, natural caterpillar brails. Come on, I can't think of any more kimos. Come on, I'm not as funny as cake. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at gcarpenmua, on Twitter at grant underscore carpen, and go to my newly renovated website at grantcarpen.com. Also follow Teen Queens at uh, The Real Teen Queens uh, on Instagram, and our new Twitter account, which I created, at teen underscore queens, with a Z, capital T, capital Q. And for all business inquiries, please feel free to email us at therealteenqueens at gmail.com, because we will take anything, wigs, jewelry, fashion, clothing. You know, the essentials. See you all next time. I want you to have androgyny. Without apology. Bye! Hey Clover, how do I look at my drag?